when I take flight from this old world, I'm going to move on up a little higher. Won't it be grand? Amen. When I don't have to make no more doctor's appointment, I won't have to have my feeling hurt. It'll be a grand time when we can go home to live with the Lord. If you're able and don't mind it, would you please stand to your feet as we, amen, offer prayer this morning. Amen. Reverend Spears, amen, Robert Spears, amen, is going to come and take us to the throne of grace this morning. Let's all bow our heads. Oh, Heavenly Father, our Father, which art in heaven, Jesus. hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. All right, yeah. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Mm -hmm. Lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine in the kingdom and power and glory. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. We come to give you all the honor, glory, and praises. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for the early rising this morning. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, with the blood sir. running warm in our veins. Yes, sir. And you gave us breath one more time. And giving us the activity of our limb. Mm -hmm. And putting in our spirit to come out to the house of the Lord one more time. One more time. Say that, sir. Peace of God, touch us right now. All right, all right. Peace of Father, such our hearts, our mind, and our soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It ain't anything like sin or evil. We ask you to forgive us right now, Lord. All right. Peace of mm -hmm. Why is it through the blood right all now? Right. All right. Creating us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit in us. Build us up and strengthen us where we're weak. And fill us with the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost this morning, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Father God, give us wisdom. Please, sir, give us wisdom. Because we need wisdom. Father God, we need you. Oh, Heavenly Father, we need the Word of God. Oh, yes, Jesus. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for our pastor, Father God, for coming up in 90 days and highways and byways. Oh, thank you, sir. And Father God, thank bless you. every wife, Father God. Thank you, man. Touch each and every one of them right now, Father oh, God. Yes, sir. Please, sir, put a spirit in them right now. All right. Put a word in them right now. Thank you, man. For your people, you know their needs. Yes. And you know their wants. All right. Have All right. mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have Give us mercy one more yes, time. Yes, sir. Have Father, mercy. we need you right now. Yes. Yes. On this side, All right. Father God, where well, we can make it to the other side. Oh, yes, sir. Father God, please, sir, right now, mm -hmm. teach us right now. Show us the way. Mm -hmm. Open our eyes right now. Glory, hallelujah. Eyes had not seen. My Lord. Please, Glory. sir, Father, our ears had Glory. not heard. Oh, yes, sir. But, Father, we come here. All right. Right now. Right now, man. To lift you up. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. our Lord and Savior, please, sir, concentrate us. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Maybe sing some more of that song. Won't it be grand? Won't it be grand? Won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? I'm going home to live with Jesus. Won't it be grand? Come on, church. Come on, church. Won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Oh, to live with Jesus, won't it be grand? Morning won't be long. Look for me. Oh, oh, won't it 
it be grand Oh, won't it be grand mm, To live with Jesus Won't it be grand Amen, amen, amen Father, scripture reading this morning Responsive reading 602 in the back of the new hymnal. Responsive reading 602 in the back of the new hymnal. The Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. God's promised blessing for his children. The Beatitudes. 602. Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. If you're able and you don't mind it, would you please stand with us? Amen. If you're able and if you don't mind it. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. And seeing the multitude... He went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are ye when men shall revive you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God Almighty, who sits high and look low. Amen. Who is still on the throne, and he blesses us, amen, as he see fit. God Almighty, we give him glory, honor, praises, and thanksgiving. We are so thankful, sister and brother, to have this golden opportunity to share Amen. This morning and worship together as we worship together. Amen. Give God glory, honor, and praise us for this golden opportunity. Amen. We, amen. Knowing that it's, it's God Almighty that has kept us, not we ourselves. Amen. It's so good to be in this house this morning. Amen. So good to be in this house this morning. Amen. Amen. Many folks. Amen. Been called from labor to refreshment, but look at you and I. Amen. Still got another chance. Amen. We got a chance to get right where we've been wrong. Amen. Yeah, we got another chance. Amen. Uh, to tell God thank you for all of His blessings. We got another opportunity, sister and brother. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we acknowledge God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank Him so much. Thank Him so much for. I will be in here. Amen. To, amen, the preachers, amen, uh, the spears, Reverend Bill and Reverend Robert, amen. I don't see Reverend Green this morning. She all right, ain't she? I will bless her heart, amen. To God be the glory. To Deacon and Deaconess, to ministers, wives, and widows, specifically to, to my wife. Amen. Thank the Lord for, amen, my wife. Amen. To each of you that's present this morning, it's good to see you this morning. Amen. Thank you for taking the time, amen, to show up for worship this morning. Amen. Amen. Carl, if I, if I go to Shonis, who, who, who going to wait on me? <laughs> <laughs> amen. I'm good to see you this morning.
Uh, next Tuesday, Tuesday morning, starting at 8 o'clock, we'll be distributing food like we always do. You know, you got to be 18 years, of old, 18 years of age and uh, have an ID of some kind. And you can't make more than like $1,300 a month. That's fine. Okay. And then the, the second one I got, I just forgot it. I had another one. But it'll come to me. <laughs> Amen. No 
them all to sail around. And I know he's been, been so good. Oh, yeah. Here's another thing. Well, he gave me eyes to see. I know that the Lord. Oh, he gave me eyes. I know the Lord. Somehow, you know, just through the words of a uh, song that God speaks to you. Yes, Your heart gets to racing just thinking about things that you've been through in life. Oh, and how yeah. good he has been to you. If he hadn't done nothing else for you, he woke us up this morning. And that's enough to tell God, thank you. <clears throat> that's enough to tell God, thank you. Because no matter what we went through yesterday, we are blessed with another day of life just so we can tell God, thank you. Our dear Father, we come before you so humbly, Master, giving you thanks for yet another day of life. Thank you, Master, for the sacrifice of your darling son who came down off that lofty throne to give his life, to pour out his precious blood on Calvary's hill and died upon that old rugged cross. And we tell you, Father, thank you. Because of the sacrifice that he paid, Master, we are able to stand before you. We are able to ask you for forgiveness. We are able to gather in your presence freely in worship and give you all the glory and all the praise. And we tell you, thank you. Father, I stand before you humbly, Father, asking prayers for my brothers and sisters who are before you now. For this church family, Father, I humbly pray. For those ones that are sick and shut in, I humbly pray. For those ones that may be inflicted with whatever kind of illness that may be that is stricken in their bodies, I tell you, Father, thank you. I thank you, Father, for you strengthening those ones that are bereaved at this time. I thank you, Father, for those single parents. I ask, Father, that you continue to strengthen them. I even pray, Father, for those single fathers. I ask, Father, that you continue to strengthen in them. 
I pray for my family, Master. I thank you for allowing them to be able to arise this morning in good health. Everybody in their sound mind, I tell you, thank you. I pray, Father, for my brother who had an unfortunate accident a few weeks ago. But, Master, he is still among the living. And I tell you, thank you, Father. <laughs> Father, I pray for my wife. I ask that you continue to strengthen her body. The things that she may be dealing with, Master, continue to be that doctor in the sick room. Continue to guide her through her day. Allow her to rest at night in peace, Master. Father, I just tell you, thank you for allowing her to be in my life. Father, I pray for this continued strength and the continued unity of this church family. I pray for our pastor and his family. Continue to strengthen him, Master. Continue to anoint him anew. Continue to bless him with the word as he continue to serve your people so humbly. And Master, as he stand before your people today, I ask that you give him the strength and the words and the encouragement to speak boldly, Master. Strengthen him, Master. Continue to pour in him where he pours out. Now, Master, as we continue to give you all the praise and all the honor, Master, I just once again pray for this church family. Whatever illness or sickness that you know what we are dealing with, those ones that are dealing with, Master, only you know. And only you are the one that can bring them through. And I know, Master, that in due time you will. Father, I beg your forgiveness where we have fallen short of thy great and holy name. I ask, Master, that you help us to forgive one another in love. I ask, Father, that you give us the strength to look in the mirror to forgive ourselves. May we lay those things down that you want us to get rid of. Remove those things in our lives that are not any good for us. Take away all the things that are standing in the way of us pleasing you. Take away those things that are standing in the way of our humbly serving you with wholehearted and whole minds. Take away those things, Master, that are allowing us not to love one another. I ask, Master, that you continue to give us that peace, that peace that brings all understanding. Father, help us to keep our minds stayed on you. Father, in these times that we may be Facing on today, we have wars of countries throughout the world. We have illness and we have sickness throughout the world. We have death on a day-to-day -day throughout this world. Father, we need you, Master. We need your strength. We need your love. Just please, Master, all we ask is just one touch. Father, reach down and just touch us just one time. May we reach out, Master, and make that connection with you. And in this way, Father, we will be pulled through to the other side. And once again, Master, we ask that your blessings be upon this church family. Your blessings be upon this worship service. May your will be done and may we humbly submit to thy will. In thy son's name, Jesus, we give you thanks and we do pray. Our Lord, King and Savior. Amen. When I look back 
over all you brought me through. And I realized it had to be you. Help me say I never. Oh, without somebody agree with me when I say that today. Oh, help me say it again. Never would have made it. Oh, never, 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 never. No. Would have lost my mind But now I see how you were There for me and I can't say I'm stronger I'm wider I'm better So much better When I look back over How you brought me through And I realize it hurts this morning never no 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 oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I never you gotta tell the Lord that sometimes He's been so good. Anybody can agree and say he's been so good. But you know what I like about it? Oh, I'm stronger. I'm wiser. Anybody better this morning? So much better. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody tell the Lord thank you right now. Oh, I want to say that again, I'm stronger, I'm wiser, Lord, I'm better, so much better, all because of you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, somebody in the middle tell them thank you right now, thank you, Jesus, I never would have made it. Just worship him where you at right now. Just tell him thank you right now. Here's another thing I want you to know. Ain't no need to worry. What the night is gonna bring. Lord have mercy. It'll be all over in the morning. Can I say that again? Ain't no need to worry. What tonight gonna bring? Oh, it'll be all over in the morning. In the morning. In the morning, oh, thank you, Jesus. It'll be all over in the morning. Y'all help me say, in the morning, morning, in the morning, oh, yeah. It'll be all over in the morning. One more time. In the morning. Morning. In the morning. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
It'll be all over in the morning. So I want you to keep this in mind. Ain't no need to worry what tonight is going to bring. It'll be all over in the morning. Oh, give him the praise in this building. Anybody know he's worthy? Anybody know he's worthy? You better tell him right now. Maybe your last time. So while the blood running warm in your veins, oh, you ought to tell him thank you right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Our Father, as we humble ourselves for your footstool of mercy, bow it in the lowest, humble manner that we know how to bow. We come before your presence, Master, for we acknowledge that you rule and you super rule. Lord, we acknowledge that you hold the reins of time in your hand. And you've allowed our golden moments to roll on a little while longer. And Lord, uh, we just want to tell you thank you. Knowing that you didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. For we acknowledge that if justice had dealt with us according to the way that we've lived, we'd have been cut off out of the land of the living. But because of your grace and, and your mercy, you've allowed our golden moments to roll on for a little while longer. And Lord, we just tell you thank you. Master, we thank you for another week. Many of us have gone in and out of our daily occupation. And you've allowed us, Master, to live and Work where men and women does not always do right. And yet, you've not allowed any harm to come to us. So we tell you, thank you. Lord, we even thank you, amen, for the place that we laid down last night. For we laid down, Master, and you watched over us all night long. And then early this morning, you woke us up on due time. We were clothing in our right mind. And then, Lord, you saw fit, amen, to bring us into your presence. And, Lord, since you brought us into your presence, hold us now. Hold us in the hollow of your mighty, powerful hand. Lord, and as you hold us in your hand, concentrate our hearts and minds right now so that our worship will be real. And as we worship, Master, Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Touch us now, Lord. Watch over your people right now and have us to acknowledge, Master, that you are God and beside thee there is none other. So we ask you now, Lord, go before us as a leading lamb and be kind enough to come behind us as a guiding and protecting angel as we worship together. Lord, be in this place. Touch our hearts, our minds, and even our soul, especially those who are downtrodden, those who are not feeling well, those who are on a bed of affliction, those who are in the convalescent home, the, those who are, Master, are recuperated, we lift before you right now. But above all, Master, be in this worship so much so that you would feed us with bread from heaven. And as you feed us, Master, open our hearts so that we will be receptive to your word. Bless every person under the sign of my voice. We do pray in Jesus' name. The people of God that was present in the house said amen. 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 Hallelujah. In the gospel according to St. John. Amen. I've, I've gone 
or the Spirit have led me back to this passage in the 21st chapter of John. And I do believe one of the reasons I'm at this passage to talk about obedience. And the reason I, I believe the reason I'm at that passage is because we have a tendency that when we think we are grown, amen, nobody can tell us anything. Right. Amen. Right. But I also want to remind us that God ain't got no grown folks. <laughs> amen. Every time you read the word, Deacon Brian, it says God little children. Amen. And that we are to obey. Amen. His word. So as you go to John, St. John chapter, chapter 21. I'm going to read this passage. Verses 1 through 6. St. John. Amen. Twenty one, begin at verse one. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise he showed him he himself. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel of Canaan in Galilee. The son of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Uh -huh. Simon Peter says unto them, I go a fishing. They said unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately. And that night they caught nothing. Uh -huh. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. He said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Amen. This, this passage, and, and I, the weight of this passage, amen, in my own opinion, is the fact that these men fished for a living. And they, they were sure they, they knew how to fish. And, and they knew where to fish. Um, they had fished all night long, uh -huh. good fishing at night, and didn't catch a thing. Uh -huh. Jesus simply said unto them, y'all got any fish? That's basically what he said. Y'all any meat? He said, no, we ain't got nothing. He said, i tell you what you do. Cast your net on the right side yeah. of the ship. They obeyed Jesus, that simple command. And they caught so many fish that the net was about to break. I, I, I want to talk for just a few minutes. Obedience gives the victory. Obedience gives the victory. Not, not only... Not only Amen. Does it give the victory? But when we are obedient to the word of God, yeah. it brings about blessings. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. God's, God's word. Amen. When we obey. Uh -huh. Amen. God's word. For Moses taught the children of Israel as they was getting ready to leave Amen. They're wandering in the wilderness. And in, in, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses says, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing if you obey the commandments of 
the Lord your God, which I command you this day. And Moses, Moses simply says, if you obey the word of God, there is a blessing for you. He also says, but if you don't obey, it's a curse. Uh -huh. If you will not obey the commandments of the Lord, your God, that's, that will be a curse. Uh -huh. this, is, this, is, this is powerful. So much so that it simply says that, that in order, amen, to really fully be blessed, we must obey the word of God. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's nothing harder, amen, magical about being obedient. As I said earlier, when, when we get of age, we, we, we think that we are grown. And since I'm grown, I do like I want to do. How, how many of us know that every, amen, one of us must give an account to somebody? Yeah. Amen. Amen. We, we, we must give an account. Jesus, amen, began, amen, his ministry. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Amen. Tells a story in Mark chapter 10. He said, Jesus says to his disciples, if you would rearrange Jalen sometime you have to amen rearrange your priorities yeah yeah we, we amen priorities are, are, are those things that most important should come first amen Jesus says to to his disciple if you would rearrange your priorities and follow me so you've been and this is what he said is they've been fishing for a living Jesus said, I want you to lay down your fishing net. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a different bait, amen, to fish with. Can I get a witness? He said, if, if, if you would rearrange your priorities and, and follow me in this life, I will give you houses and, and lands and mothers and, and fathers and sisters and children, amen. And you will also, listen to this, he said, I, I'm going to bless you in this land. But Jesus in that same text said, but you will also be persecuted. Yeah. But don't worry about that because in the world to come, well. hallelujah, I will give you eternal life. Yeah. It's simply based on obedience. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Jesus says when, when you put him first by obeying his word, yeah. there is a blessing. Now, I want to I wanna convince you this morning, yeah. amen, with the word of God. And the way that I, I, amen, want to do this is to find somebody in the scriptures well. that simply obeyed, amen, something seems so foolish. Yeah. But because the Lord said it, they did it. Yeah. And every time they obeyed the word, there was a blessing. So, amen, you can go with me if you can. I'm going to Joshua chapter 6. And I'm going to tell you, amen, what happened to Joshua and the children of Israel. Amen. They had, God had delivered them, amen, out of the wilderness. They had wandered in the wilderness for, amen, for, for, for 40 years. God had delivered them, amen, to the promised land. Amen. And, and delivering them to the promised land. God had provided them a land. Uh -huh. Said, but, amen, you got to go in and take the land. It's, it's yours. Yeah. So here was Joshua, amen, looking at the city of Jericho. Yes, sir. Unsure, amen, how to conquer the city of Jericho. Yeah. And, and, and this thing was troubling to, to Joshua, but when he looked, he saw a man standing beside the wall. Yes, sir. The man had his sword, amen, drawn in his hand. Yes. And, 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 and Joshua says to the man that happened to be an angel, yes, sir. are you with us? Yes. Or are you for our adversary? Yes. The angel said, I'm, I, I'm from God and I brought you these instructions. Yes. Here's, what I want you, here's what God wants you to do to conquer the city of Jericho. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. Take, take, amen, seven priests. Give them seven trumpets. And I want you to have, 
amen, the priest to lead, amen, the way to march around the city of Jericho seven times. Yeah. want you to go around once a day. Yeah. The, 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 these are instructions. Mm -hmm. I want you to march around, amen, the wall of Jericho. Uh -huh. Do it for seven days. But the first six days, go around one time. Mm -hmm. And when you go around one time, go back to camp. Stay in camp all day long. Get up early the next morning. Go. Around. He said, "But on the Sabbath day, can I get a witness? I want you to get up early in the morning. And when you get up early in the morning, can I get a witness? Line, amen. Everybody up on the priest. Give them, amen, a trumpet. And when they blow with the trumpet." All the folks ought to shout in God. That, that's, that, those are the instructions. Can I get a witness? And when the, when, when the priest began to blow with the trumpet, all the congregation of Israel began to shout. And that shout brought the wall of Jericho down. And except all you got to do is follow the instructions. Can I get a witness? When God Tell your wall done. You ought to have a shout amen, in your heart. Jer Jericho was a city that nobody could get in it, they thought. And nobody, amen, could go out. Can I get a witness? But God, amen, told Joshua to march around the wall. And because he was obedient, the wall came tumbling down. Simple as that. When you obey God, there's a blessing for just being obedient. Let me, let me, let me tell you another story. I, I, amen. In Judges, the seventh chapter of Judges, amen, the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east, yeah. amen, was like grasshoppers yeah. for multitude. Yeah. The camels were without number. Yeah. Uh, as the sand of the seaside for multitude. God, hallelujah, had sent Gideon on an errand, uh -huh. amen, to defeat the Midianites and the Amalekites. Gideon messed around Kishon and put an army together. Yeah. Had 32,000 men. Yes, God is, God, ain't God all right? Yes, but God said to Gideon, them too many folks. Uh -huh. you, 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 amen. Yeah. We, 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 we want to see a house full of folks. <laughs> and we, we want the church running over. And there's nothing wrong with having a house full of folk. But the more folks you got, the devil hitchhike a ride with somebody. God said to get you, you got, you, you got too many. So I tell you what you do. Everybody that's scared, tell them to go back home. Can I get a witness? 22,000 turned and went back home. God said you still got too many. Isn't God all right? Amen. Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to separate them for you. But in order for me to separate them, I want you to go down to the brook and have them to drink water. Those that get down on their hands and knees and lap like a dog, send them home. But those that get out and cup the oh, y'all ought to help me. Pick up the waters in the hand. And drink out the hand. Amen. I want you to take them to battle. God reduced that 32,000, amen, man army to 300 men. Can I get a witness? Said to Gideon, this is your army. Now you got to remember the Malachites, hallelujah, and the Midianites had great big armies. God said, I, 
I want you to get a trumpet. Put a trumpet in every man's hand. Take a lamp. Don't put no oil in the lamp. But take a light and set it in the jar. Can I get a witness? Take 300 men and divide them in three groups of 100. Isn't God all right? And said, give this set to the 300 men. When I give the command, I want every man to stand in your place. And when you stand in your place, glory, hallelujah, I want you to break, amen, the jaw that got the light in it. And when, amen, Gideon gave the shout, everybody stood in their own place. They broke the jaw, amen, and blew the trumpet. The Midianites and the Amalekites began to be confused. They were so confused that they started killing each other. And God, all right. All you got to do is just obey. Can I get a witness? If you obey, hallelujah, the word of God, how many know that God will give you the victory? It's easier, amen, to obey, hallelujah, the word of God. Glory, hallelujah. In the ninth chapter of John, there was a blind man, hallelujah, had been born blind from his mama's womb. Hallelujah. He met Jesus one day. Jesus took some spit, spit on the ground, and took that spit and mixed it up with some clay and put the clay on the blind man's eye. Said to the blind man, all I want you to do is go down to the pool of Salaam. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Hallelujah. If you obey my word and go down to the pool of Salaam and wash the mud off your eyes, in God all right. Hallelujah. Your eyes will come open. God is so powerful. All you got to do is obey his words. In God all right. I'm, 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 I'm about to close with you. Jesus had died on the cross, had laid in the grave, had been out of the grave now for a whole week or more. Peter got restless in God all right. Hallelujah. There's some restless folks in the church. Peter got restless. And said to the boy, I'm, I'm going back to my old occupation. I believe I go fishing. And God, all right. Peter got his gang. They went fishing that night. Got the boats, clicked the nets up, and went fishing on the Sea of Tiberias. And all night long, amen, they fished in the water. Now, 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 here's the thing about it. These men were professional fishers. In God, all right. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. They, they, they would take the net and throw the net in the water. In God, all right. Jesus said to me one day, I'm going to make you to fish for the souls of men. And every Sunday, when you cast the net, whatever in the net, don't throw nothing back. If you get it in the net, I'll clean it. In God, all right. They had fished all night long. Jesus showed up on the banks of the river that morning, cried out to the boys in the boat, brethren, have y'all got any meat? They said, no, we ain't got no meat. I heard Jesus say, take your net and cast it on the right side. All you got to do is obey him. Hallelujah. Get the story. They had fished all night long. They knew how to fish. They knew where to fish. But they didn't catch nothing. But Jesus simply said, put the net on the right side of the boat. 
And when they threw the net on the right side of the boat, Luke said they caught 153 large fishes. They were so big that, that the net began to break. They were obeying the word of the Lord. And when you obey the word of the Lord, there's a blessing in it for you. In God, all right. The gospel is a message that you got to believe, but you also got to obey the word of God. The word said, Love. You want another like I have loved you in God all right. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. In God all right. If you obey the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God says, glory, hallelujah. Pray for folks that despitefully use you in God all right. The word of God says, hallelujah, bring me all the time in the storehouse and watch me open the windows of heaven and I'll pull you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. In God, all right, you got to obey the gospel. In God, all right, you got to obey the word of God. And if you obey the word of God, Sam, there's a blessing. There's a blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blind man. Jesus done spit mud on his eye. Got spit out of his mouth and mixed it up with some mud. Put on his eyes. Go down yonder and wash it off. The blind man did what Jesus said. And his eyes came off. And God all right. In God, all right. Jesus told me to remind you this morning. When you obey his word, there's victory in the word of God. All you got to do is obey. Obey, hallelujah, the gospel, the word of God. If you obey, there's a blessing coming your way. Not only that, the Bible says that's victory when you obey the word of God. When enemies get on your track, hallelujah, sometimes you don't even have to fight. All you got to do is tell God, you promise me that if I hold my peace, you'll fight my battle. If God, all right, you promise me that if I walk with you, hallelujah, the stumbling blocks that folk put in my pathway, you'll let me use the stumbling block for a stepping stone. You promise me when my road got low, you'll smooth out the rough place in my highway you promised me that if I be faithful hallelujah you got a crime waiting on me you promised never to leave me not forsake me all you got to do is obey hallelujah that's victory you keep fighting hallelujah that same battle over and over but if you obey the word of the Lord he promised to fight your battle. It come by obedience. Can I get a witness? Not only must you believe the gospel, you must also obey the gospel. It's a message that you got to obey. Yeah, you got to believe that Jesus died and rose the third day morning. But you also got to obey. It's a message that you must obey. It's a message that God sends you and me. Amen. It's a message to love one another as I have loved you. It's a message. Amen. Not to throw real for real. Amen. It's a, it's a message that says you don't have to try to get even with folks. God said, amen, vengeance is mine, and I, I repay. So when folks do you wrong, hallelujah, you ain't got to, hallelujah, try to get even. Let God fight your battle. Let God fight your battle. And if you obey his word, if you obey his word, these are stories, amen, 
that 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 men obeyed. Jesus said to the men, "Amen, amen." Dying by the seaside. I tell you what I'm going to do if you follow me. I'm going to I'm going to take that net from you. I'm going to give you a different kind of bait. Amen. And with the bait I'm going to give you, amen, I'm going to cause you to fish, amen, for the souls of men. And every Sunday, every chance I get, amen, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing for the souls of men. Might not catch nothing today, but guess what? If God let me, I'll be back next week. And I'll use that same bait. And after a while and by and by, how many know I'm gonna catch something after a while? Doesn't matter, ooh, y'all, y'all, doesn't matter whether they're a street walker, doesn't matter whether they're a backbiter, it makes no difference if they're a ditch digger. When I catch it, God is gonna clean it. Can I get a witness? Yeah, obedience. Hallelujah. Samuel says it's better than any sacrifice that you can give. Let's have a word for you from the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Obedience. Obedience gives you victory. Amen. Amen. Y'all remember Jehoshaphat? Yeah, yeah. Scared to go, but God said, I tell you what you do. Get the choir. Amen. Light up everybody behind the choir. And go down to the cliff of Zion. He said, you ain't got to fight when you get there. I, I just want you to see that I will fight your battle. Amen. God will fight your battle too. If you obey. God will fight your battle. If you obey. Let the church say amen. amen. These, these, these boys fishing. And I'm, I'm, I'm through preaching. They knew how to fish. They had fish for a living. They thought they knew where to fish. Here's this lowly Jesus standing on the banks of the river. Simply says to them, I know y'all done fished all night, but, but if you just take that net and throw it over on the right side. They done fished all over that little lake. I ain't caught nothing. And now that Jesus, Jesus has said, put the net right there. Can I get a witness? If you put the net right there, you'll catch something. Those are the church open. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah, would that be one? I'm fishing. I'm fishing for the souls of men. If you care about your soul, you ought to come to Jesus for the blood running warm in your vein. Tell him I know. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. The door is open. Gracious Father, Lord, you're so merciful. You're so mighty. We tell you thank you. Thank you for your word and for your people. We thank you for the guidance, the dictation of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that this, this worship experience will be a blessing in the lives of your people. Not only did it, does it remind us that you brought us through a, a, a week that's passed and gone, which we tell you, thank you. Sometimes we was up and sometimes we was down. Sometimes we were losing and sometimes we were gaining. But you brought us safer through another week. And Lord, we tell you, thank you. But just when that week ended, another week began. And Lord, we need some strength. We need to be able to face Satan head on. So give us the strength that you promised. You promised us some strength, Master. You said you would give us strength. Amen. That if we lay hands on the sick, they'll recover. 
and that we could cast out demons and they would flee. Give us that strength for the days ahead. Bless this congregation, especially those who are sick. Be with us as we go from this place and hold us in the hollow of your mighty, powerful hand. We do pray. Now to him who's able to keep you from falling and to present your faultless below the presence of his glory, to the only wise God, I would say to be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And all the people of God shall sing together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As you leave the sanctuary, as you come out.